Happy May 16th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and party defeated three murderous plants. We were poisoned by one of them. So at the end of every page, we do a constitution check. And if we fail, we take a point of damage. And this goes on until we're cured with either an antidote or a rest. In fact, I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use that green marker to help me try to remember that I'm poisoned. Uh, I did realize later that I could have used our solar flare. Uh, one of Ivy's abilities adds damage. Um, and we probably could have defeated that second plant and not been poisoned, but alas, here we are. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Alrighty, we have our work cut out for us, I think. You venture through the dense plant-covered tunnel to discover a colossal maze. Find your way to the opposite end, avoiding becoming lost in the labyrinth. Alright. So, begin at the X, that's down here in the bottom center, navigate around the map, visit each numbered area, explore and resolve each area, and so on. We've done this kind of thing before. Let's see if we can follow the left hand rule and make our way, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Um, can I get to two? Yeah, this will take us to two. Whee. There we go. Area two. You enter a dense section filled with lush vegetation and thorn-laden vines. The vines spring to life without warning, reaching out to grab you as you walk by. D20 plus constitution, reminder danger sense. Our constitution is plus zero, right? Yeah. Uh, but we do have danger sense five. Plus two danger sense is seven. Um, we could, tr we could use our stout seed, but that's not going to be enough to get us to the next level. <laughs> Before I forget, again, do we have any abilities that can help us? We can have damage, defense, um, we can heal ourselves, uh, reroll a strength roll, uh, survivalist. No, I think we're out of luck here. If the result is 12 or less, the vines ensnare you, cutting and scratching your skin. The damage is painful. Reduce your health by one. You are now poisoned. I, do, I don't think poison increases. I don't think it stacks. In other words, I don't think we're double poisoned now. I think we would just be poisoned if we weren't already. Um, but we do lose a health. Uh, so we're down to 11. 11. Okay. We may need to make use of some healing potions or our healing spell. But let's see what else is in store for us here. I want to get maybe to area 1. And um, again, just kind of eyeballing it. Yeah, this will get us there, I think. Area 1. Alright. You notice a sorrowful scorpion wandering aimlessly. Its stinger drooping in sadness. The creature seems lost and hungry, and you sense an opportunity, opportunity to interact with it. Roll d20 plus charisma. Reminder, bug tamer. We do have plus 1 charisma. We are not a bug tamer, but um, one of our party... Uh, I thought that one of our party members was. We could double check that. Let's see what we get here. 14. Uh, what was it? Charisma? 15. That's pretty good. If the result is 15 or more, your approach resonates with the scorpion. It responds to your gestures and leads you toward a hidden cove with a pile of lost trinkets. Roll d20 plus intellect. It's plus zero. It's our plus zero. Reminder, investigator, we're not an investigator. 14. Oh, can we get... Oh, we have our boon die. You know what? There's something special here. <laughs> so, 
Um, before I use the boon die, is there anything else we can do? What was this? This was uh, d20 plus intellect. We have 14. We just need one point. Um, yeah, and none of our pets. Let me double check. What do, what do Buzz and... Um, what do we got here? Stealthy damage and dexterity. Bug tamer. Enid's a bug tamer. Does that matter here? Not for this roll. Um, uh, attack, wisdom, survivalist, defense, uh, charisma, charisma. The Baron might be able to help us out with charisma. No, it's intellect and investigate. We already did that roll. Okay. Uh, student and constitution and strength. Nope, we got nothing. So we're going to use this boon die. That means we get to roll a d4 and add it. Doesn't matter what we roll here. Um, we only need one point, so we get three. Okay. What did what did we get here? What was this? Area one. If the result is 15 or more, you find a key embedded with a purple jewel. Write down amethyst key somewhere for future use. That is mysterious. Okay, I'm adding it here. We've got our brilliant hourglass. Um, and now we have, what did it say? Amethyst key. Can I spell amethyst without looking? I think I got it. Amethyst key. Okay, that's exciting. I think that's the first thing like that that we've found. Other folks have found other stuff. We haven't been so lucky. Okay, that's our poisoned reminder. Um, all right. Fun. That's cool. Buck up, said Scorpion. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. Okay, we want to, um, I don't think, it's kind of a dead end. So we'll backtrack up to here and we'll split off. This is going to take us, I think, to the exit. Three, area three. After emerging from the long and arduous maze, you come across a refreshing and spacious freshwater pond. You may stop now or continue to explore and return here when we're done. We are going to continue. I'd like to get to... F oh, yeah, it's easy. We can easily get to four from here. Okay. Area four. A barrier... Formed by dense overgrowth and vines, has been enchanted to create a magical lock. You recognize that untangling the overgrowth in a specific pattern will open the path forward. Well, D20 plus dexterity, reminder, locksmith. We are not a locksmith. I don't think we have anybody who's a locksmith. 12 plus dexterity is 2. That's 4. 14. That's the middle result. Um, do we have anything that can help us? We can try Disco. Uh, what did we have? 12, 13, 14. We need, uh, oh wow, we need three more points. Um, it's worth a shot. So, anything else? I think that's it. So we'll try, yeah, we'll try Disco here. I should have this memorized by now. Disco needs a five of clubs or better. Um, here we go. Five of clubs or better. Oh, it's so close. Seven of spades. At least he didn't hurt himself. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So that's the middle. We're going to take the middle result for that. That's area four. You managed to loosen some of the vines but struggle with the more complex aspects of the lock. It takes time and effort, but eventually you make progress. Oh, dang it. The best result gets you. Uh, gets you something you want. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, we, let's see if we can get to area five from here. If we head down here, is that going to get us anywhere? Um, 
This is not the easiest thing. I'm drawing with my mouse. <laughs> uh, I think we're doing okay. And we can just backtrack our way out of here. Yeah, this will get us there. Five. This is quite the maze. There we go. Area five. You are confronted by a perplexing image that warps your sense of direction. The walls shift and the paths appear to multiply with illusory effects that confuse and mislead. Roll d20 plus wisdom. Reminder, arcane adept. Wow, 19 plus 2 wisdom. That's the best result. Your arcane knowledge allows you to see through the mirage effortlessly, perceiving the truth behind the illusion. You confidently navigate the maze, ignoring the false paths and distorted images. All right. And then we're just going to... Uh, how are you supposed to... Could you get here from... Oh, yeah. You can go this way. And we meet up with our path and we find our way out. And that, my friends, is May 16th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, oh you thought I forgot. Uh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> We're poisoned. We have to do our, our poison check. Uh, D20 plus constitution. What did we get? 16. Okay. Our constitution's uh, 1. No. Our constitution's plus 0. Um, but 16 beats 10. That's what we're trying to... Meter beat 10. If you if you uh, get... T I'm sorry. If you get 10 or less, you lose a health. Uh, we beat it. So we're good. All right. Thanks for watching.